All right, kids, so here is my electric XP light as I have it decked out currently. Just a few, basically, um, additions to it. You'll notice the uh, floating rack in the bag, of course. That's the uh, original seat post, and this is the Rock Pro seat, uh, just to make a more comfortable ride. We have a cup holder here, we have a bell, and we have my Sandstorm plate on there. I got, uh, you can get those custom off Amazon. And we, what else, we, we have this little uh, keychain down here for the keys. If I ever need to take them out, just a handy way to keep them uh, attached to myself. But that's all we have here. So, you know, this is kind of a minimal uh, upgrade. This bike doesn't need a lot. I think what I have here is simple, effective, and uh, does the job, right? But what if we change it up? What if we uh, go for a different color? And I'm going to play off the color gray here. Uh, so I really love this uh, Sandstorm paint job and the, uh, the nice color gradients they have here. So we're going to play off that. And I'm calling this Bill Greystoke in honor of that uh, cool movie from the, uh, I think it was the late 80s or early 90s, I think. Um, but I just love the color gray overall. I've got like... Most of my sneakers are gray, um, and uh, I, I think gray and the Sandstorm tan will really pop um, when this bike is on the road. So, of course, here's a look at what we're going to be putting on the bike. We've got the tires, of course, a new Source BMX 3-inch Rise BMX handlebar. we got some chrome folding pedals. We've got the spoke reflectors, which are silver. The gray samurai grips and uh, kind of my uh, inspiration was this uh, safari seat uh, bmx seat i got off of uh, sourcebmx.com and uh, this is going to look really nice um, on the bike itself when it's when it's there so it's not the most comfortable thing to ride so it's more for show but I will put links and uh, for all these in the uh, video description, but <clears throat> this is basically what we're putting on the bike. So uh, hope you enjoy the build and we're gonna start with the tires. Oh yeah, what's up uh, electrician? So here it is, my new XP lights, completely modified, kind of in a BMX style, if you will. I call this Greystoke. We go in kind of a gray theme, as you can see, the tires, the seat, uh, the grips are gray now. And just kind of trying to pick up the gray off the uh, stripe on here. That's kind of what I was going for in terms of the theme. We've got new pedals on here. We've got spoke reflectors. We've got uh, a new bell up there, new handlebars as well, BMX handlebars. See those with a nice three-inch rise. And... Uh, yeah, I'm looking I'm pretty proud of the way it came out. Uh, it looks great. It's tight. It's uh, it's uh, you know, good looking. Uh, I think it really, the color theme is a really nice color theme with this. Um, I think you could do this on any of the lights from the color standpoint. I think this gray look would go well in the black, the blue, and the uh, the white versions as well. So uh, if you want to do that, um, especially the white version, I think these gray tires will look awesome on there as well as the seat overall. So let me give you a quick idea of uh, what this cost me and uh, what to expect uh, when you're doing something like this. So I spent about, oh, I'd say 340 bucks total on things. Um, and I've got two seat setups, so I'll show you that in a second. But let me quickly take you through the pricing on this e-bike. Of course, $7.99 as from electric uh, electricebikes.com. But uh, the tires, these are BMX, Elite BMX Combat Tires off Amazon. 60 bucks for the pair. These are 20 by 2.4s. Uh, interesting, uh, when I took the uh, stock tires off, those little knobby ones, those are 20 by 2.6, not 2.4. Uh, interesting to note, because uh, I thought they were 2.4s, but they're not. They're 20.6, or 2.6. Uh, I got a custom license plate that costs 10 bucks. Uh, this uh, seat here comes from Source BMX. This is a 
Uh, let's see, it's a BSD Pivotal Safari Fat or Fat Pivotal Seat. Um, nothing fat about it. It's pretty thin actually, um, from a coverage standpoint. So, um, and this is a, a special. Um, this is a Yukon bike seat post. I had to get because there's a single screw on top of this seat here. And you have to basically tighten into the the, the seat post itself. So it's a different seat post you need. I cannot use the stock one, um, but I have a separate setup for that. Let's see here. We have let's see. Folding pedals, these are from you, uh, Vigebi. Uh, we got these nice chrome folding pedals here uh, on the bike. We replaced the, uh, the stock ones. We got samurai grips up front here. We've got uh, Velmia spoke reflectors. You get two boxes of 36 each, and there are 36 spokes on the bike, so on each wheel. We've got um, the Pro Bike. Bell, gold bell. Uh, I forgot to put the cup holder on there. That's here as well. I have a cup holder, a V-Sling cup holder. It goes here, that's black. Now, the reason I have two uh, seat setups is because this is, uh, it's not that comfortable, this BMX seat. Um, I love the look of it. It looks awesome, but from a comfort standpoint, I'd rather have something a little bit thicker and bigger. So what I did was I put this together. So this is the original seat post. This is a Rock Bros uh, seat with a handle on the back. And I've got a retractable floating rack on the back. So let me show you how that looks. And this seat post is 500 millimeters long. The U-Pan bike is only 450. So this is a much better for me because I'm a taller rider. Um, and so check that out as well. So if I'm going on any kind of longer ride, I'm going to put this on the bike and uh, just save my butt for better better traveling. And just it's um, with this higher, uh, with this longer seat post, it just gives me a better fit on the bike overall uh, for riding too. So plus I can put the rack on the back and I've got this little... Uh, Fucal uh, bag here, uh, but this rack actually slides back and forth. You can actually push it out more using two bolts underneath. And um, that rack cost uh, 26 bucks. It's an out tag retractable rear rack, and the Rock Rose seat is 17 bucks. Uh, the bag is just I think it's 20 bucks on Amazon as well. But, so all in about 340, 340 bucks, and um, I'm pretty uh, pretty stoked about this how it came out overall. I have a couple of you know if I I really wanted to put a uh, thumb throttle on this bike um, and just save more room on the handlebars because it's a thinner thinner item. But with the grips the way they are, um, I had to cut the grips. So I didn't really want to do that, but I had to just to because uh, there's not a lot of room up here. Um, I've only got about this much room overall for until it starts to curve so let me show you uh, some close-ups of each of these items and we'll go from there all right here's a look at the new handlebar setup you can see the grips here full one on the left and the uh, cut one on the right there is a get kind of a uh, you feel kind of a gap here now with the uh, because the uh, thumb throttle is so high, I guess. You kind of feel that there. You don't have much of room here for, for putting your hand. Um, so it is, it is fairly small. It's only maybe three inches there. Um, so I kind of wish I could put a thumb throttle, which would have been here, and I could have basically had almost a full grip uh, on the bike. It's just gone like this. But uh, the thumb throttles uh, that sell on Amazon do not work on these electrics for some reason. Even though they're the same, you know, pin connector. But um, here's the bell, of course. This handlebar setup, now that it's a, a three-inch rise, allows you to put the um, display down in the middle here, so it's kind of flush now, as you can see. It's not sticking up at all. And um, I do love these grips, though. They're really nice grips, um, samurai grips from uh, Source BMX. 
come over the end cap on there and that's the handlebar setup here's how the bike looks from the front you can see the uh, uh, license plate I've got on there sandstorm for the front coming down we look at the tires Again, these are uh, BMX street tires essentially Here's a look at the spoke reflectors. You kind of uh, do each side of the bike and um, snap those on. So it looks good right at night overall. Here are the folding pedals. These are the Gibby. Um, they got a nice kind of rubber uh, grip on the outside here. And you can actually do this with one hand, so it's just nice. Uh, chrome, obviously. So the chrome really pops. Let's look at the back tire. Getting this back tire on and off was a bit of a challenge. Um, in order to do that, I might do a second video on it, but um, you basically have to uh, take off the caliper. You have to, uh, of course, unscrew the uh, loosen the axle bolts. And there's a little kind of locking washer bolt here. Now this slides out essentially. There's a horizontal essentially groove on the frame, and basically the bike the tire, bike tire slides out the back. And there's no groove in here at all, so it doesn't really. You have to kind of it goes in about three quarters of the way, and you have to unscrew this uh, bolt here in order to get to pull the tire actually off. So uh, six bolts overall, two on the calipers, the two axle bolts, and then two of these on each side, or one of these on each side. And then the bike, the wheel just slides right off. When you put it back on, you have to kind of make sure it's centered properly. Um, and you adjust that with these two bolts here. This will kind of push, if you tighten this, it'll push the wheel, you know, to the left. If you tighten this one, it'll push it to the right, I think, uh, is how it works. But um, when I first put it on, we had some scraping with it. So I had to adjust it a bit. And, um, and uh, but it's working great now overall. Here's a look at the a floating rack. Again, this um, uh, pulls out. If you can just adjust the bolt underneath, it'll slide out and extend it farther if you want to. Kind of acts as a fender almost too. If you look at the bike, um, it's kind of a pseudo fender um, going forward. But uh, yeah, I hope you like what I did to it. I uh, would love to see. Um, here's the rock bow seat as well. I'd love to see what you guys are doing on your electric XP lights, ones of the BMX style. Um, really like this uh, way it came out, and uh, again, the tires just make this bike. Um, it's not full gray; it's actually a kind of a two-tone. There's a black strip around it as well, um, but uh, it just looks super awesome on there and uh, pretty slick. So, I think Electric put out a video. Uh, with three of their technicians did their own bikes with stuff off the source BMX and some other stuff and um, that's the first video I've seen of the XP lights getting a makeover but I think this is the next second one uh, that's on YouTube anyway and um, yeah so you can put your comments in there um, let me know what you would do different what you don't like um, do you like the spokes in there or not it does look a little bit cleaner without them and uh, but let me know what you guys think. I'm curious as to your opinions and uh, design, design wise, how you think I did with this XP light. So, here's a look at the uh, second seat setup. Uh, just this seat is just awesome looking. I wish it was a little bit wider uh, so I could use it always, but uh, it's a badass seat right there. Comes with different colors too. You can get like a brownish version. Um, and this gray is just uh, uh, awesome. So I call this Greystoke, this, uh, this design, uh, in honor of this safari seat here. Uh, from that movie from the, uh, I think it was the 90s, Greystoke, Legend of Tarzan. This is a seat he would ride, I think. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, that's it for now. Um, next up will be the uh, XP 2.0. That's going into the shop to uh, get some rotors and brakes on it. Um, and uh, that's going to have a blue design. 
So uh, come back at you when that's underway. And uh, in the meantime, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and thanks for watching Criss Crossed.